What's going on my psychedelic squad? It's your boy Trippy here coming at you with another Madden 19 video today and if you can look on the screen right here we do have something from Mr. E.A. Kralo, you know, Kralo himself, uh, stating that Zero Chill ends on January 8th. When Zero Chill ends, Snow will convert to training. That conversion has not been determined at that time. <clears throat> at this time I'm assuming that's what he meant. We will communicate the information closer to the end of the promo. Lots of promo left with presents to reveal and blank coming. I'm assuming this is like, you know, from K slash Kralo. So with that being said, uh, Xerxes actually went and said something else to him uh, right here. Another part coming to the Christmas promo. Um, click it right here. When he says the same thing, he reiterates, snow will melt and will go away. Snow will be no more after january 8th once snow is gone everything will convert to training ghost of madden forever solos will stay up indefinitely now that is pretty dope seeing how um you know just in case somebody gets the game a little bit later they'll um be able to still go ahead and get that michael vick champ bailey or or that tony gonzalez uh, but it says, however, all Zero Chill solos will expire on January 7th at 10 a.m. per the solo description. So in other words, he's telling y'all motherfuckers to read. That's basically what I'm getting at of all this. So, but going back to the other tweet from Kralo, stating that lots of promo left with presents to reveal and blank coming. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and hop onto the game show you a couple things and then give you my predictions on what i think the remainder of this promo could be so now that we're on the console looking at the 90 to 91 overall cards that you're the best to pick up when it comes to snow uh earlier um with the release of dj moore as these things are flying like hotcakes man i seen one as low as 87k just a second ago and they would not let me get it to save my life maybe that's a sign i shouldn't be buying any coins but or using any coins so got avery williams williamson usually goes for about 100 well earlier he was going for about 120 130k uh jalen smith usually a solid 120 110 uh, if you catch him on a good day um, I think these things are flying out of Legends Fantasy Packs for some strange reason. I leveled up earlier and got a Z Oh, whoa, whoa, chill, bro. That was the wrong filter. But I uh, leveled up earlier, got two Legend Fantasy Packs, and these are the two cards that I pulled. So maybe that's what is going on here. But I'm not too sure to be 100% honest with you. I just know that if you wanted to buy some snow, these are the two. this is the filter that you should go to. Unless, let's go ahead and check out the 92 to 93 overall uh the, the, the ghost of madden future cards and yes 250 thousand coins basically they were going for about 20k cheaper you might be able to find one later on for just a wee bit cheaper for about i don't know 230 coins so or damn for about 230 thousand coins uh these go ahead and sell for if i'm not mistaken 25 60 or 25 50 some weird number in snow so if you do the math, if you buy, let's go back to the 90 to 91 overalls, those quick sell for about 880. So 880 divide, multiply by three. So it'd be around the same, a little over, if I'm not mistaken. If you get three of them for about 80K, let's go ahead and assume you get three of them for 80K uh, or somewhere in that range. So that's 240K, we'll say 200 and, I don't know, 270K to be on the safe side. Uh, 24 plus the 2400 so that's um 2650 so you spend an extra 20k the ghost of madden future cards actually the best value in my opinion to pick up if you need snow uh, but you're probably wondering why do we even need snow the gifts aren't in the um you can't buy any more presents in the store anymore and all the gifts are basically revealed for the most part what why what is the the whole purpose of all this well I'm here to tell you, after what Kralo said to the first guy, I don't know what his name is, and then Zerk, I'm assuming, just assuming that they're going to have some sort of New Year's Day theme promotion going on, but I don't think it's going to be involving gifts, to be 100% honest with you. I think it's going to be more, like I said, a New Year's theme, maybe some sort of fireworks uh, promotion thing, some sort of... Um, bringing the New Year's type of thing going on. I can't tell you, you know, what EA is thinking off the top of my head. 
Also, the next thing that I think is um, what could be happening pretty soon. Let's go to the zero chill. Hit these players up, and these out of position players, right? Uh, these are these have been actually a huge disappointment. So, you know, past years you see Calvin Johnson, bro. I think um, last year, if I'm not mistaken, he was like a 95 overall. Calvin Johnson at free safety, dude was an absolute goon. He was a limited time as well. But there was like some sort of glitch to like everybody in the moment had him. So uh, it was it was pretty interesting last year, to say the least. But 95 speed, Deion Sanders, Calvin Johnson, those two actually aren't that bad. Sean Taylor was a little bit of a disappointment. He does play pretty well from what I've seen. Walter Payton isn't that bad, but we've also had better in the past. So what I'm thinking is we've got these two out of position um, cards in the game. We've got these two masters. What do you think they're going to be doing for the new year's or right before new year's my speculation is they're going to go ahead and do two more well technically three more sets you're probably wondering what would they possibly do now there's a lot of out of position players slash ironmen that have been playing in the nfl for a very very long time what i'm thinking is between that and the fact that they haven't released a bo jackson yet they could very 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 well Go ahead and do two more sets and then make a master set for all six of these, well, soon to be, hopefully, six out of position masters. So you'll have to put maybe like a Deion Sanders, a Calvin Johnson, a Walter Payton, a Sean Taylor, and whoever they release afterwards into the uh, master sets. Put all of those in a set to get maybe some sort of Bo Jackson or maybe like, I don't know. Um, I can never remember the guy's name who used to play for the Bears, the defensive tackle, who uh, I know they called him the fridge, but I can never remember his, his full name. But uh, maybe like a fullback one of him or something crazy like that. I'm pretty sure it's going to be like a, a Bo Jackson, though. But that would be very interesting. Hopefully they do something along those lines. And if it does happen, you heard it here first, folks. So... Uh, just wanted to give you a quick heads up on how the snow market kind of is. I'm pretty sure you guys already kind of seen that happening. So if there's ever a time to go ahead and buy snow, it is definitely now. Yet again, just to reiterate, if you really want some snow, uh, the best value in my opinion would be to not necessarily purchase these cards. I did not expect Dak Prescott to be a 175,000 coins. It's got to be because of the deep accuracy. But... Uh, go ahead and purchase one of these Ghost of Madden Future cards. See, it's 250 right now, slowly increasing. So, uh, if you can't catch them for about 230, 240, I suggest you go ahead and pick them up at the 250. These cards will rise back up to about 300k. They've been going up and down, up and down since they've been released. Uh, remember when they first dropped, they were like 250, 220, maybe somewhere in between that range. Now, all of a sudden, they want to just shoot. They shot back up to like almost 400k then they're down to 250 so this market could definitely fluctuate just all depends on you know supply and demand so hopefully with the promotion not ending all the way until january 8th for the most part or 7th uh we got a lot of time in between then for ea to drop a couple more things since they do they basically been dropping everything monday wednesday friday and occasionally like saturday with ltds and things of that nature we still got a lot of presents left and a lot of things to go ahead and uh hopefully dabble into so i uh, just wanted to go ahead and make a quick video guys just to kind of reiterate what uh was being said from kralo and zerk earlier as well as give you just a little bit of my intake on what could be happening pretty soon but that'll be the end for today's video, guys. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button, man. Two-piece those mofos. It'll help the channel grow tremendously. Also, let me know down below in the comment section, what do you think could be happening uh, as far as the rest of this promotion? Other than that, man, you let me know down below what you guys think. Stay tuned for more Madden 19 videos such as this. And until next time, guys, peace.